Hi everybody, this is Engineering Starts at Home. My name is Jake and today we're going to be making boats to talk about buoyancy. So for this activity you're going to need a tub of water about one half to three quarters of the way full. You're going to need aluminum foil and a bag of change. I use quarters but you can use pennies, nickels or dimes, it doesn't matter. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of aluminum foil Rip it off, and then you're gonna take the edges of this piece of aluminum foil and you're gonna roll them towards the center. So once you're done, you can pinch the sides up a little bit to prevent water from getting into the middle of your boat. And I'm actually gonna make two boats So when you're done, it should look something like this. Like I said before, you want to pinch the sides up so that way when you put it into your water, it won't sink right away. They can be however big or small as you want them to be. So once you make your boat and add them to the water, you're going to take your change. and then add them to your boats. So for one of these boats, I'm gonna add the chains right into the middle of the boat. And then for the other one, I'm gonna add it along the edges of it. And we're gonna see which boat holds more change. As you can see, the boat started taking on water and it sunk. So now we're gonna put it along the edge and we're gonna see if it holds more. So as you can see, I'm well past 20 quarters and it's still floating. And it's slowly starting to take on water. So what's happening here? So the reason why these boats float in the first place is because of a principle called buoyancy. Buoyancy or upthrust is an upward force exerted by a fluid that opposes the weight of a partially or fully immersed object. So what does that mean? So the buoyancy of an object is calculated by the weight of the fluid displaced by that object. When the boat is floating, the weight of the displaced fluid is less than the weight of the boat. When the boat sinks, the weight of the displaced fluid is more than the weight of the boat. So this can be seen when you're in your swimming pool. For example, when you jump in, you sink. But if you're on a float, it displaces versus your weight across the surface of the water and it helps you float. So between our two boats, the one that held more weight was the one that we dispersed the weight across the surface. And the one that we put directly in the center wasn't able to hold as much. So as civil engineers, we have to calculate the best way to disperse weight on boats in order to get the most weight onto them. So when we ship our goods across the ocean, we calculate how much weight that that ship can hold and then how it needs to be placed on that boat in order to make sure that the boat does not sink. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our buoyancy boats and I'll see you next time.